The external payment position remained strong despite the decline in the trade surplus due to a stronger import growth and a widening current account deficit, which has been adequately financed with external inflows from portfolio and foreign direct investments. The Ghana CD has performed strongly with a year-to-date depreciation of 1.8%. The country's higher sovereign spread has not shifted foreign investor behavior as net monthly purchases of securities on both the debt and equity markets remain favorable. In the outlook, rising interest rates in the advanced economies on account of tapering may pose on risk. However, the strong reserve buildup and foreign exchange inflows from the recent SDR allocation and the expected syndicated cocoa loan proceeds should help to cushion currency pressures in the near term. The latest data suggests that fiscal consolidation efforts appear to be on track, but with some inherent risks associated with wage settlements and energy sector payments amid low revenue mobilization. In addition, debt sustainability concerns remain, which warrants additional fiscal consolidation efforts, carefully balanced with sustainable growth strategies and efficient debt management strategies. The expectation on fiscal policy implementation in the remaining months of the year will be shaped by revenue collection efforts and strict alignment of expenditures with revenue inflows to ensure the attainment of the fiscal deficit target for the year. Inflation has risen sharply over the last two readings, driven mainly by sustained food price increases. Although food inflation has pushed overall inflation close to the upper limit of the band, core inflation remains relatively subdued. In the view of the committee, the increase in inflation is mainly due to food inflation, which is expected to ab abate with the onset of the harvest season. This notwithstanding, the latest forecasts indicate that inflation will remain within the medium target band, but closer to the upper limit in the near term, in the absence of further unexpected shocks. A close monitoring of the inflation situation is, however, warranted to respond swiftly to prevent potential second round effects on headline inflation from the rising food inflation. The committee stands ready to respond appropriately as needed if this particular risk materializes. Given these considerations and the fairly balanced risks to inflation and growth in the outlook, the committee decided to keep the policy rate unchanged at 13.5%.